So we know today why dogs and cats, cats, cats are not seeing the veterinarian and we can do something about it. So reasons number one, two, three, four, five is transport, getting them there. Oh, here's what happens. The carrier comes out and the cats are on the border in Mexico trying to get into another country, right? So what do you do about that? Well, you can carry your train and tell your clients how to do it and hold their hands all the way through it. Here's sort of the 101 as to how to do it. Leave out the carrier all the time. So the carrier's like a piece of furniture in the house. Randomly drop kibble, toss treats even better inside that carrier. C cats should like carriers. After all, they are boxes, and we all know that cats love boxes. The problem is they've had a negative experience, or two or three or four or five, with the carrier. So you drop those treats in the carrier, it becomes a treat dispenser, the cat wanders by, and every once in a while there's something really good, like a gold mine inside. When the cat seems comfortable feeding in the carrier, now you're ready to close the door. Don't take the cat anywhere, don't do anything except feed the cat in the carrier. If the cat seems uncomfortable, your client has gone too far too fast for that cat. Then what you do is you tell the client to walk around the house, give the cat a tour of their house, and feed the cat after that tour. So now the cat is associating food, something very good, with the carrier transport, even if it's only from going to the kitchen to the dining room and back to the kitchen again. Eventually, down to the car. Go nowhere, just go down to the car. Don't even start the engine. Come back home, feed the cat. Then go maybe around the block, then two blocks, then to the veterinary clinic. Everyone at the office says to the cat and the cat owner, you've got the cutest cat, you are the cutest cat. Cat goes back home for a meal. Again, associating now the car ride and the carrier with something really good. For clients that are committed to do this, it really can work. I mean, I've personally seen it happen with many cats where their attitude about going into the carrier completely turns around.